and in business, the Association of Bureau de Change Operators of Nigeria has called for a downward review of the cash processing fees introduced by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Apex Bank, in an attempt to st stay true to the cashless policy, had introduced 3% processing fees for withdrawals and 2% processing fees for lodgements of amount above 500,000 Naira for individual accounts, while corporate accounts would attract 5% processing fees for withdrawals and 3% processing fees for lodgements of amount above 3 million Naira. During the APCON's quarterly economic review for third quarter of the year, the association said though the objective of the policy was a welcome development, the cash processing fee would, be, would have severe impact on small businesses across the country. Furthermore, APCON has said a large portion of businesses are still largely in, in cash, especially in the rural areas, and are recommending a lower processing fee of between 0.5% to 0.75% and 1% to 1.25% for individual and business account holders, respectively. Meanwhile, the World Bank has rated Oshun's Rural Access Mobility Project, RAM2, the best in counterpart funding amongst participating states in the Federation. Oshun State is rated high in the prompt payment and release of over 2.5 billion Naira counterpart funding for the implementation condition on RAM2, according to the task team leader, Olatunji Ahmed. A statement by the Development Communication Specialist for RAM in Oshun, James Adedokun, stated that the World Bank commended the state's performance through an electronic letter to the state's project coordinator, Prince Adeshola Adeumi. He said Governor Boyega Oyetola was appreciated for his support for the project. Also, the Minister of Finance, Zainab, Zainab Ahmed, has given marching orders to the Independent Corruption Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, the Bureau of Public Procurement, BPP, to step up efforts towards recovering the over 5 trillion naira indebtedness to the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria. The Minister made the call in Abuja at the weekend during the quarterly briefing of the Ministry of Finance, attended by agencies under the supervision of the Ministry. While commending Amcon on the national assignment, she however said she expects a lot more from the corporation, especially not that President Mohamed Buhari has signed, now that President Mohamed Buhari has signed the amendment 2019 Amcon Act into law, which gives additional powers to Amcon to deal with the obligators. And also in Ghana, the Ghanaian President Nana Akufuado has assured the chiefs of the chiefs and people of Aquatia that the government will help revamp the Ghanaian Consolidated Diamond Limited, which in times past had helped create jobs and wealth for the people of Aquatia. He made this known on Sunday, 13th of October 2019, when he paid a working visit to the company as part of his three-day tour of the Eastern Region. How, following a breach of contract, the government abrogated the contract awarded to the Great Consolidated Diamonds Ghana Limited in 2011. According to the Director General of the State Interests and Governance Authority, SIGA, Honorable Stephen Asamo Boteng, the company has failed to fulfill its core mandate of paying $17 million to the Divestiture Implementation Committee, as well as rehabilitating and refurbishing facilities at the mines to enhance production. The President has assured key stakeholders that he would ensure that good times once enjoyed by the mine are restored.